Happy Tuesday afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. It is that time of the afternoon when you get an update on what's happening in the tropics. As I've been mentioning all season long, we have been fortunate across Southeast Texas. No hits from tropical depressions, tropical storms or hurricanes. They've all turned and gone in different directions. So we are crossing our fingers, hoping that things remain just like that for the rest of this hurricane season. However, we still have a few more months to get through, so I'm going to update you on if we have any chance for anything headed our way and show you where we do have a tropical storm and maybe another potential tropical storm or hurricane brewing out there. First, let's talk about our tropical climatology and we are Definitely getting closer to the end of September. September, usually the most active, busiest period of a typical hurricane season. And we've had a lot of action for September. Just none of these storms heading towards the Houston area. Thank goodness. But we do have a little bit more of September to get through. Then we've got all of October. And after that, of course, we've still got all of November because hurricane season officially does not end until the end of November. So we still got a few more months to get through. And of course, we'll be here every afternoon throughout the duration of this hurricane season, updating you on what's going on out there. Let's talk about our current tropical storm. This is Tropical Storm Philippe, still in the central Atlantic, getting a little bit closer though to some of those Caribbean islands, to the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, Turks and Caicos. I think it will be very close to those islands by this weekend. The good thing about Philippe is that over the last 24 to 36 hours, it's really starting to lose its shape, its definition, some of its strength. It's kind of dealing with some dry air being pulled into it, and it's also having to battle with shear, kind of ripping it apart in the mid to upper level. So it is not really that healthy at this point. But that's a good thing because if it were just to fall apart, that would be even better. We wouldn't have to worry about it potentially impacting some of the Caribbean islands. So at this point, it still has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour as of that latest 4 p.m. advisory. Movement to the west at 13 miles per hour, and we've got pressure at 1,003 millibars. So here it is. You can see you've got kind of a couple of clusters or bands of showers and storms blowing up there. You don't really see a well-defined center of circulation or an eye or anything like that, but it is still considered a tropical system, although it is a weaker one, and it is still officially a tropical storm for now. However, the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center does have Philippe weakening. It will maintain likely its tropical storm status at least through Wednesday and Thursday with 40 to 45 mile per hour winds. But as we go into Friday, those winds dip to 35 miles per hour and it likely will start to lose some of those tropical characteristics. So it is forecast to become post tropical by Friday and a remnant low since it will be weaker than tropical storm status. As we get into Saturday and Sunday, even weaker down to 30 mile per hour winds. And that is a good thing because the track has kind of been shifting more to the west as we've gone into the last couple of days. So there could be some impacts to the northern portions of the Lesser Antilles, to Puerto Rico, you could see San Juan there, maybe to portions of Haiti and the Dominican Republic, the Turks and Caicos Islands. So as we go through this weekend, things will get more interesting. There may be some gusty wind, some stronger rip currents there, some heavy rain from whatever is left of Philippe, but at least it is forecast to be a much weaker system. And we're not talking about a hurricane, major hurricane that would cause tremendous amounts of damage. So that is some good news, but it's still something to watch because like I said, that track has been shifting more to the west and west southwest. So some of those Caribbean islands could be impacted by Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So we do have Tropical Storm Philippe out there, a weaker system, but still a tropical storm nonetheless. Yesterday we were concerned that we may have had something developing in the Gulf of Mexico, but that is no longer the case. We're not monitoring anything in the Gulf for potential development at this point. Even though we've got some clusters of showers and storms showing up here, I don't anticipate anything that would turn into a tropical storm or hurricane for now. So let's hop out to the Eastern Atlantic, and this is where we will likely have a tropical storm or hurricane developing pretty soon. This is Invest 91L, now with an 80% chance of tropical cyclone development over the next 48 hours and a 90% shot for this to become a tropical storm or hurricane over the next 
seven days. You can see it in the red there, that X, that's where it's located, looking fairly organized at this point, and the movement is to the west, northwest. It's in that red because that represents that high chance for development into a tropical system. So this one will likely become a tropical depression at least in the next few days, and it likely will be tropical storm or hurricane arena, I would think at least by the weekend. So we'll be monitoring that close. Let's look at some of the spaghetti computer model plots or forecasts for tropical storm Philippe, and notice most of these take Philippe over into some of those Caribbean islands. This one even taking it a little bit farther to the southwest into the eastern Caribbean. So we'll have to watch Philippe closely. Even though it is forecast to be a pretty weak system, it could still have some impacts to some of these Caribbean islands. And if you had plans to maybe Hop on a plane, head to Puerto Rico for a couple of days. Friday, Saturday, you may be dealing with some impacts from Philippe as well, but it shouldn't be anything too catastrophic with Philippe, a fairly weak system. All right, this is the official computer model forecast for Invest 91L. And notice this one is taking a track a little bit farther to the north and west. So most of the models take it just to the north of the Lesser Antilles and north of Puerto Rico, but we'll still have to watch it closely because it will come fairly close to some of those Caribbean islands. But in the long term, we'll have to wait and see if it would have any impacts to Bermuda potentially, or maybe parts of the east coast of the US. So that will likely be tropical storm arena, maybe hurricane arena by this weekend and next week. So far this year, 17 named storms, six hurricanes, three major hurricanes were already above average for the number of named storms, near average for the number of hurricanes, and right around average for the number of major hurricanes. But with still a couple months left in this hurricane season, we could still get through some of these last few names. Rena likely will be in the Atlantic in just a couple of days, then we'll have Sean, potentially Tammy, and then Vince, and then Whitney is the last last name rather on the list. So we could get through this entire list since we've got to go all the way through the end of November to say we've officially wrapped up a hurricane season. We're also concerned that the water temps are still very warm out there. So even though things are quiet in the Gulf of Mexico right now with the water temperature still in the upper 80s to low 90s. If we were to get a tropical depression in the Gulf, it could quickly flare up and become a tropical storm or a pretty devastating hurricane. So we're still going to monitor things closely, at least for the next several weeks to see if that would happen. Of course, out in the Atlantic, it is the same story. Very warm water out there. You can see those buoy temps, those readings in the 80s and low 90s. So even though it's been quiet for us so far, we can't rule out something popping up out there. But of course, that's why we're here to watch things closely and keep you updated when we see something concerning. For now though, at least for the rest of this week, nothing of a tropical nature heading to Houston or any parts of Southeast Texas. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure to download our Fox 26 weather app, get all of your tropical weather, your forecast cones, our follow me feature, many other cool things to check out on there. Of course, you can get your local weather at any time. It was a great thing to have yesterday when those severe storms were rolling across the Houston area. You can turn the alerts on and you'll be notified when you go under warnings, watches, advisories, whether it be for a flood, tornado, severe thunderstorm, tropical weather, all of that. So just make sure to grab a Fox 26 weather app. Head to the App Store, search for Fox 26, wait a few seconds and you will have it on your phone. Well, that does it for your Tuesday afternoon tropical updates. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Enjoy the rest of your day.